Hey there, it's Dr. Marisa, your essential oil doc. And I wanna talk a little bit about the easiest way to use essential oils, because I have a feeling you are getting started or you are maybe helping someone get started with oils. Now, the easiest way to use them is aromatherapy. And we've been hearing about aromatherapy for many years, but aromatherapy basically means picking up an oil and breathing it in, like that. Now, that's pretty easy, but probably the easiest thing to do, my favorite, is by using a diffuser. Now, I have a diffuser right here. What's super cool about this diffuser, it runs on different increments. It runs for like two hours, four hours, eight hours, and then it can run all the way until it shuts off. Now, the best way to use a diffuser is to just put four to five drops of whatever oil you prefer. So let's say it's lemon. Let's say I really want to purify the house or just help the house smell better, deodorize the house. What I would do is just add five drops, just like this, of this oil. Put the lid back on and then set it for however long I want to run. Now, I know you're wondering, well, that is definitely the easiest way, but why would I even use them aromatically or inhale them? Well, when you use a diffuser, not only do you help to purify the air, to open up airways, but also they're great for mood support, they're great for energy, they're great for sleep, they're great for calming. Basically, I find myself choosing my own mood when I am choosing the oils that go into my diffuser. And so during the day, we oftentimes have energy boosting oils like peppermint and wild orange orange and other citruses. However, at night, I flip these, I put new oils in like lavender, Roman chamomile, alang alang, marjoram, all of the really calming and relaxing oils. So those are really the biggest reasons why I use a diffuser. And also, because this is an air, air and water um, diffuser, it's called an ultrasonic diffuser, what's great about it is that these beautiful um, organic molecules are in the air, suspended in the air, and they actually will jump onto the surface of your skin and be absorbed that way as well. So with the diffuser, you're getting both kind of the topical application where the oils get absorbed into the skin because of the mist, and then also you're breathing in that aroma, which is having a massive and wonderful impact on your brain, on your emotions, on your respiratory system, and again, all of these are great things to happen because oils have such powerful and amazing benefits for the body. So if you don't have a diffuser, definitely get one. I recommend a water ultrasonic diffuser because they're quiet, they, they cover a large surface area, and they are so easy to use. And then the next step is really just picking oils for whatever mood you are looking to do. Now, if you're looking for aromatherapy diffuser recipes, I've got a ton of them in my book in chapter seven. So I just wanted to share one with you really quickly that I love all of the time. I'm just getting to chapter seven really quickly. So here, I wanna share with you my, my clean kitchen blend. And if, with a diffuser like this, it's three drops of lime, two drops of lemon, two drops of lavender and two drops of rosemary. And I've shared this blend with thousands of people and they love it. I use it all the time myself. So note that I've got tons of recipes here in the book if you're looking for fun ideas, depending on what it is you're trying to achieve with your diffuser. I hope you found this video super helpful and I hope that you get it started with essential oils easily with just a couple to get started with and your diffuser.